So it could be that, I don't know, you pass the automated checker, but then uh, so the vulnerability is no longer present. But the remediation approach that uh, the country took, uh, maybe it's not in line uh, with the best practices, or it's not in line uh, with the security guideline within an organization. So in that case, an assessor will provide uh, um, additional feedback uh, to the candidates. The candidates can also, when the exercise is uh, completed, can also um, download uh, the solution for reference and can also provide a feedback uh, on the exercise. The platform also supports challenges, which are uh, time box uh, tournaments uh, between users of the same organization. When setting up a challenge, it's possible to specify and to select exercises based on the programming language or whether we want to target specific groups of developers or if you want to target a specific vulnerability where, uh, for instance, uh, um, a gap has been identified uh, before. Exercises can be about anything, uh, exploitation, uh, secure coding, uh, or uh, remediation, and uh, in a way that they address the most prevalent uh, security issues. Exercises are uh, packaged as uh, Docker images, so pretty much uh, the platform can run uh, every kind of exercise, at the moment, Java and Node.js are, are supported environments, but it's actually very easy to support uh, more, uh, more technologies. It's just uh, enough to start with a base RTF uh, Docker image that is provided, and from there it's possible to add uh, every requirements that you would need uh, for uh, your exercise. If the technology is already supported, so in this case Java and Node.js, then it's easy to integrate the new exercises. At the moment, I'm working on uh, uh, making it easy to integrate the automated checker on all the new exercises so that uh, it would be possible, for instance, to reuse existing vulnerable applications, integrate them with the automated checker, the functionality that we saw earlier that tells you whether the vulnerability has been related or not, and then make them become uh, RTF exercises. The platform also provides metrics which um, will help the business to really measure competency in secure coding and remediation. So these metrics uh, are provided at different levels. Uh, you have metrics at user, uh, team, and organization level, and those can be used to quickly identify gaps and then uh, provide targeted training opportunities uh, to fill them. Uh, the platform also has a rich um, IAM model uh, with, the con with many roles uh, and uh, the concept of multiple organizations within the same deployment and within an organization, uh, a number of uh, different teams uh, where users can be enrolled. So in overall, uh, the platform has a number of advantages. Uh, developer get to learn in uh, an engaging way, 100% hands on, and uh, they get to acquire new skills. So they know they will know how to recognize the secure coding patterns and then start coding securely from uh, from the start. These also will uh, reduce the number of uh, vulnerabilities which introduce uh, in new development and also drive faster remediation of existing issues. Also, the platform can be used to, to measure competency in real, uh, real co truly measure uh, competency in uh, remediation and um, uh, secure coding, and then uh, provide the targeted training to fill uh, the gaps that are being identified. The platform is open source, uh, it's easy to deploy on AWS using a cloud formation template. Um, and uh, exercises are packaged as uh, Docker images, can be focused on, uh, on remediation, exploitation, and secure coding. And when ready, the platform will be rapidly extendable uh, with new technologies and exercises. So, is it ready? Almost. Um, I'm working on a few things uh, before, uh, start, before I can start accepting contributions to the project. So these things that are left uh, will enable anyone to download the platform, uh, install it, and then run it autonomously uh, without uh, any manual uh, steps involved. Um, so I need to complete the front-end integration for the challenges functionality, uh, develop the front-end for the other new exercise uh, functionality. Then I'm also working on the SDK so that uh, it will be possible to uh, integrate the automated checker functionality, functionality that we saw earlier that will inform the candidate on whether the issue has been rendered or not. Uh, it will be easy to integrate these uh, in uh, all new exercises so that it will be possible to reuse existing uh, vulnerable applications uh, within the RTF. Also, we need to provide a documentation on how to uh, install and uh, run the platform and then further extend it. 
The release includes the AWS Cloud Formation templates. Uh, it is all you need to set up uh, the whole infrastructure uh, that is necessary to run uh, the platform. And um, above that, uh, there are a number of RTF services that are necessary to run the platform. Uh, each of them is provided for convenience also as a Docker image pre-built. And um, exercises as well, as I said earlier, are packaged as uh, Docker images. So it's, um, there will be also exercises uh, within the release, of both in Java and Node.js, and the full source. So I have uh, concluded, and uh, thank you very much for the... Uh, so the uh, one of, last thing, the, I will start to, to um, our, our release documentation and start uh, to support this uh, um, from July 2nd, which is also the, the date uh, when uh, AppSec EU starts. So thank you very much uh, for your time, and um, if you have any questions, I'm here to answer. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.